Hello everyone and welcome. In this lesson, we will learn about parenting. All right, so basically what does parenting mean is simply link or connect two or more objects together. Essentially, what we are creating is a relationship between the objects in our scene. Sort of a parent and child relationship. We have the parent which is the master control and we have the child object that follows the movement of its parent object. This is super important in rigging and to show you that importance I will use this model over here, this crocodile model which I have included in your exercise files folder if you want to follow along with me. So if I select the forearm, for instance, and using the rotate tool, E key on your keyboard, and if I start now rotating this object around, what you will expect is the hand moving along with the forearm. But this is not the case in here, okay? As you can see, the forearm is moving alone, and that's not what we want, okay? We want the hand to follow the movement of the forearm. This is very important in order to get a believable motion, okay? And the same thing goes when moving the forearm using the move tool or the W key on your keyboard, okay? And since there is no relationship between the forearm and the hand, our object is going to move along, okay? And that's why we are getting this result. The same thing would apply to the upper arm that is moving along and which should drive the forearm and the hand along with it but as you can see it is moving along without affecting the others so to fix this we need to set a relationship between our objects and we do so through linking or another term you may be familiar with is parenting this last term used parenting is a lot used in other packages such as Maya so feel free to use whichever term seems best for you <laughs> right wonderful now you may be asking yourself how can we set up this relationship well this is actually very easy to set up all we need to do is grab the link tool found in the upper left hand side of the main toolbar this tool over here select and link then hover your mouse cursor over to the object you would like it to be the child okay pay close attention to the cursor make sure your mouse cursor changes to a cross then click and hold your left mouse button then drag to the parent object now when dragging your mouse cursor you will get a dashed line emerging from the pivot point of the child object now take a closer look at the cursor if the connection is possible you will get this sort of icon showing up okay and if the connection is not possible you will get this icon with an X mark in it. This actually makes sense since we can't connect a child object to itself and so the connection will be impossible. That's why we are getting this icon with an X. Okay, so keep this in mind and always make sure you are selecting the appropriate object and make use of the icons that show up to know if you're gonna pick the right object or not okay so still holding our mouse button and when our cursor 
is on the top of the right object all we need to do is release our mouse button and there we go we have now managed to set a parent child relationship between our two objects okay great now if we take the forearm and start rotating the hand will follow properly the movement of its parent object the same thing goes if we use the move tool and start moving the forearm around the hand will follow also the movement and the translation of the forearm okay cool now to undo back all you need to do is press the control z on your keyboard all right beautiful now we need to take care of the arm so with the link tool selected okay on the from the upper left hand side of the main toolbar this icon over here hover your mouse cursor to the child object which is in this case the forearm and once the cursor icon changes to a cross click and hold left mouse button then drag your mouse to the parent object which is the upper arm make sure your mouse cursor icon changes then release your mouse button and voila <laughs> if we now test this out by grabbing the rotate tool or using the e key on your keyboard if we start rotating the upper arm around take a look our arm is now moving wonderfully all right this is looking awesome beautiful the upper arm is now the parent of all objects and is controlling the whole thing and basically the forearm is driving the hand along with it okay beautiful this is looking fantastic how exciting is that so essentially that's how a hierarchy is made and to see clearly this hierarchy we can use something called the schematic view and we can find it right over here on the main toolbar this icon over here where it says schematic view open once we click on it we'll get this new window which is sort of a window to 3ds max scene object we will find every object in our scene listed in this sort of hierarchical representation so essentially we have the upper arm which is the parent object of all of our arm okay we have the parent object of the entire set at the top here the upper arm this one over here and moving down this sort of funnel represented by this green align we have the child object which is the forearm or the lower arm and the forearm is now also a parent object for the hand okay we have now the parent object which is the upper arm we have its child which is the forearm and the forearm is also a parent object of the hand all right cool now to navigate around this schematic view you would use the same keyboard shortcuts you use normally when navigating around the viewport middle mouse button to pan around the view control alt plus the middle mouse button to zoom in and out from the view or you can simply scroll your middle mouse button to zoom in and out as well okay so that's it <laughs> okay cool now to unlink a specific object from its parent with it selected we can use either the unlink tool 
found in the main toolbar next to the link tool here is the unlink tool which is kind of a chain that is broken okay this is the unlink tool or if we pay close attention to the schematic view you will find the same icon over here unlink selected this one over here and the same thing goes for the link tool we can find the link tool on the main toolbar or in here in the schematic view this is the link tool it is called in here connect but they function the same way okay so as we have said if we want to unlink a specific object from its parent we can use this button over here the unlink selected or the unlink from the main toolbar and there we go the object has been successfully unlinked from its parent and now if we move the lower arm the hand is not moving with it okay so beautiful <laughs> now if we want now to connect the objects back together from the schematic view we will take the hand the object we want it to be the child and we will use this connect button and we will drag the same thing okay as we have done previously in the viewport okay we will click and drag to the lower arm objects and there we go now if we test this out if we grab the lower arm and start moving it around all is well <laughs> now the hand is following properly the movement of the forearm so that's basically what parenting is and how to use it if you want to see parenting in action feel free to check out my course the beginner's guide to rigging in 3ds max 2018 where we will use parenting quite a lot in the process of setting up the character rig we will be building we will also use parenting in my other course facial rigging for beginners in 3ds max 2018 to set up the facial controls for our character so feel free to check that out and finally you have the advanced hand rigging in 3ds max course where we will go ahead and take advantage of parenting to create advanced systems that will add to our hand project right so that's pretty much it for this lesson we have seen what is parenting and how to use it in the next lesson we will discuss objects pivots